Welcome to Grace Fit Podcast. Yes, your waiting season should not be a wasted season. The process of waiting is mostly intended to prepare us for a proposed assignment, to nurture us into maturity and mold us into becoming fit for the task or position God has for us. As a parent, you wouldn't give your six-year-old the key to your car to drive. No, that would be too much for him a task. You would want him to grow him to a certain age and then also enroll him for some driving lessons before entrusting your car to him. The same way God wants to groom us into maturity so we can become fit for his purpose, our assignment here on earth. But most of us detest waiting. We want things done in a twinkling. And we want everyone or everything at our beck and call. Now, when God makes you wait, it is because he is preparing you for the best. Like Joseph, who saw the picture of his future as a child, but went through trials before he eventually fulfilled purpose. And like David, who was destined to be king, Anointed, but waited over 20 years before he eventually became king. It takes time to build anything that will last. When waiting on God for favor, insight, direction, or whatever it is that you are requesting, your attitude needs to be right. The spirit of patience and a heart of gratitude are some of the essentials to cultivate while waiting. You shouldn't run out of patience even when you feel frustrated that your desires aren't coming to play because God is never late. He never lies. Habakkuk 3, 17 to 19 says, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no head in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like his feet and it will make me to walk upon my high places. Here are some additional verses to keep faith while waiting. Psalm 123 verses 2 Behold, as the houses of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a median unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that he have mercy upon us. Isaiah 35 verses 4 says, Say to those who are fearful hearted, Be strong, do not fear. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. With the recompense of God, he will come and save you. Isaiah 30 verses 18 And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all that, all they that wait for him. Psalm 37 verses 7 Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fright not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wickedness, wicked devices to pass. James 5, 7 and 8 So be patient, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious crop from his land, being patient with it until it receives the fall 
and the spring grains. You too must be patient, strengthening your hearts because the coming of the Lord is near. Do you have a relationship with Christ? If you'd like to, you can say this prayer, Lord Jesus, I want to know you more. Come into my 